Hey y'all, Rick Fairless, Strokers Dallas. Listen, today is in my life. It's a beautiful Easter Sunday. We are open today. And uh, we've got live music today from 2 to 6. So y'all come out and celebrate Easter with us, with my family. Today the Mr. Peabody machine... The Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine takes us to 1977. So, in the summer of 77, I was uh, 20 years old. Is that right? Yeah, 20 years old. And Rand was 19. So, Rand had gone off and uh, joined the United States Army. So, he was stationed in Fort Eustis, Virginia. So, I had my first uh, vacation at Roach Paint, and Rand invited me to come up to uh, Fort Eustis, Virginia, and we were going to go uh, looking around up there. So, our buddy Jimmy Hicks went with us. So, me and Hicks flew into somewhere in Virginia, we went to, to, Rand picked us up. Rand had a brand new 1977 Pontiac Formula, which was a cool car. He topped me. I had a 76 Trans Am. He had a 77 Formula. So we went to the barracks, and what I'll never forget was, Rand takes us into the barracks, <clears throat> and he's got his bed there, and his bed's not made, and he has a Dallas Cowboy t-shirt tacked on the wall. And I said, I thought this was, you know, a bounce the quarter off the bed and spit shine the shoes. And Rand goes, no, man, this is a new man's army. Took us into the day room, which was uh, basically a pool table and a ping pong table. My brother's a really good pool player from shooting pool in the army. So we messed around. We went to Virginia Beach. Uh, we went to Washington, D.C., which was... 150 miles away or so. Washington, D.C. was cool. We got to uh, go to the Smithsonian. We took the White House tour. We went to the Lincoln Memorial. During the White House tour, we're going through there and the lady's talking about this and talking about that. And then she stopped talking for a second and said, Okay, she forgot to say that over here this and over there that, and the people were listening to Rand, and I said, how do you know all that? And Rand said, I've been on this tour three times. <laughs> what do you think we do? We get a vacation, we go to Washington, D.C. or something. So we spent a few days in Washington, D.C., and I remember we went in this one place, and we were out really late, and the, the town was dead. And then we get to this one block and it was just packed with bars and nightclubs and clip joints and people everywhere. And I told Grant, let's get out, let's get out, let's get out. And I said, no, 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 we're not getting out. We're not going to get in the middle of that mess. And then uh, we did that for a few days and then we went up to New York City, which if you've never been to New York City... It's incredible. I mean, I would not want to live there, but for a kid from Irving, Texas, it is nothing like you've ever seen before. I mean, it's cool. Times Square is cool. We went to the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, all that. We went to the top of uh, what was the tallest building in the world, or the second tallest, I forget, the Empire State Building. Of course, the World Trade Center was there back then. We, we, we rode a, a subway, which was, you know, people ride those subways every day going to work. We rode the subways and it was like, it was foreign. It was foreign to us. You know, I mean, you've always heard of a subway, but um, unless you've ever ridden one, they're, they're crazy, they're wild. It's incredible. We stopped at, on the way back to Virginia, we stopped at this little restaurant, pub, and it was in a college town. So, like I said, Rand's 19, I'm 20. 
Hicks was 19, 19. We stopped at a, that pub and there's all these college kids running around and this college town. And it's like, why ain't I in college? Why ain't any of, I, any of us in college? You know, look at all these, these kids running around that are our age, but you know, and Rand did go to college. You know, Rand came back and he went to Texas A&M and he went to the University of Houston Law School. But I never went to college, you know. I, I took a few classes at North Lake Community College, but that just wasn't my gig, I guess. But I'll never forget the tour we took of the, when we went to the Smithsonian, one of the most incredible places, the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C., is one of the most incredible places. Uh, we went to the UN building, which is in New York. We even pitched pennies up against the UN building. If you, if you kids don't know what that is, Google it. But anyway, I was just, this Easter Sunday, I was just thinking about that trip and how incredible it was, you know, for a, a 19 and a 20 year old kid, a couple of kids to, to go do all those cool things. I wish we had cell phones back then, so I had a bunch of pictures. I've got a few pictures from it, but one of the coolest trips that I've ever made, you know, when there again, I made it with my brother slash lawyer slash best friend. Okay, so happy Easter to y'all. Like I say, we're here, we're working. Live music, we'd love to see you strokersdallasmerch.com uh, you know put me on your bucket list I promise you we ain't got no subway around here but old man Rick Fairless is still here my family is still here happy Easter love you bye